So we are at the Punto space in Midtown Manhattan, getting ready to watch the first ever blind fashion show. So blind fashion show, that means that all the models you'll see take to the runway right behind me are all visually impaired and they're gonna walk with no cane or walking dog. This is just like a first thing. It's I don't know, it's never been done before, so yeah, I'm really excited. Feel how there's a lot of grip tape right there? Yeah. That's your clue that there's the end of the runway. Okay. okay? I was like skeptical about it, but then I thought about it and I talked to Miriam and my mom and everyone and they were like Oh, but Jules is not about the fashion, it's about the cause of it. It would change the perspective of most people's opinion. And uh, they would say, oh, anyone could really be a part of fashion. I would love it to break um, all the stereotypes that surround modeling. We all have different visual impairments, but um, we're all here to kind of show that uh, the visually impaired community can, can model it. As soon as I heard about it, I was like, I need to be a part of this. <laughs> I just want people to stop assuming that we, blind people, cannot do anything. I want them to know that we can do anything that we would put our minds into. My eye condition is that I have retinal folds, which pretty much means my retinas are wrinkled, and those wrinkled spots are blind spots. So I am very careful about that. I don't want to be seen as a blind person. I don't want to be seen as a blind person. The goal is actually to show people, to show society, you know, that there is more than, you know, a white can. There is more than, you know, a, a guide dog. It is going to show people that those girls are courageous and whatever they want to do, they can do it. One of my best friends, Megan Mani, was in the show. So we wanted to be able to support her and support the rest of the girls that were brave enough to try something new and really show that you can be beautiful with a disability. It was very hard in the beginning to find girls that would want to come out, you know, because you're nervous about not using your accessibility. This was great for them just, just to believe in themselves and just to walk out here and do that was phenomenal. This fashion show is not just to show the creativity of the designer, but also to advocate for um, blind people's rights. So the show just wrapped up behind us, and without it just being the first of its kind, it also opened many opportunities for women who are visually impaired to leave their mark on fashion.